Don't miss a beat, join the notification squad by clicking that bell, you'll get notified every time I upload a video, and be sure to join our Discord to talk and get help with your code. Hello everyone, welcome back to the Source Code. my name is Alonso, and here we are in a new Minecraft video. Um, in today's video, you are going to learn how to create a role synchronization system, so you can link your Minecraft ranks and your Discord roles, maybe for donators, VIPs, MVP, I don't know, it's up to you. Um, before we start, I need to say I made some changes in the code that are already updated in the GitHub. Uh, the first uh, part I changed here was um, this one. It was 120 ticks, which is like uh, 6 seconds. I changed it to 1 second, which is uh, 20 ticks, because it works without any problem. I also changed this one, uh, we're using build instead of uh, building block, okay, and you need to remove the exception we had here, if we for example use this one, we need to try and catch these exceptions, okay, but if we for example use only build, we can remove this exception here, it works because it's not deprecated so you should use it now. Um, uh, yeah, that's what. Oh, something else I changed. Well, I added this part in the code. What it does, it actually uh, doesn't allow me to generate a new code if I already have one generated. So, if for example, I join the server and I say link Alonso Aliaga. Whoops, I'm not online. Okay. Now, if I, for example, use link Alonso Liaga it sends me a DM and if I use it the same command again yeah it says error I already have a uh, code generated so I cannot be generating code every time okay so that will be some changes I made in the code uh, as I said in this new video we're going to make a role synchronization system so um uh, Remember that we already have this verified member list So now we are going to use that list Which contains the members that has their discord account linked, okay, so uh, 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 Oh something else uh, remember that in this whoops remember that in this in this part of the code here, we're loading or we're initializing the guild uh, one second after the this class is is initialized. Okay, so in this case, we need to use the guild object uh, like one second later. I'm gonna add a delay of two seconds to prevent errors. I'm gonna show you in, in a moment. So the first things we need to do is the is this uh, there are many ways to make a role synchronization system in this case I'm gonna show you the maybe the easiest one please don't take this uh, tutorial as final uh, you can make modifications it's up to you actually uh, you can change the code to maybe uh, I don't know maybe to fit what to fit to your needs I'm just gonna make a basic role synchronization system, which is if you have the role, I mean if you have the permission, you receive the role. If you don't have the permission, you don't receive the role. Okay? So uh to start I'm gonna make a hash map of um the permissions and the role. Okay, it's my is the way I I used to do things. So I'm gonna create a hash map. I need a string here because it's a permission it's a string and I need a role here role role entities I'm gonna call that permission maybe permission roles permission role map okay I need to initialize that permission role map it's equal new hash map so it's correct until here uh, how are we going to use this one? 
Uh, okay, so I'm gonna save the permission needed for a role and I'm gonna save the role. So if for example, I have a permission that is Alonso bot that VIP, the role will be VIP, okay? So to do that, we need to load the, the roles. I wrote something in the config YML. This is what we're going to use. It's like a config, I mean, like a, a plain config. Role sign, you can add, for example, here, maybe, I don't know, maybe enable true, enable false. It's up to you. It's like when you're making a plugin. Um, so in this case, we have the name of the role here, just uh, an identifier, not the name of the role, sorry, just an identifier, and we have permission here and the name of the role, the name of the role in, in Discord server. So if we want, for example, we can create new roles here, maybe, I don't know, maybe uh, word. It doesn't matter if it's lowercase or not, it's just an identifier. We need to add the permission needed to do that role or to use that role. Alonso TS plugin M word and name of the role in Discord will be word. This is an example. I don't have any role in my Discord server, so this will not work. But this one will work because I have the those roles here. So uh, we need to load the roles into the hash map. Okay. To do that, we're going to do we're going to, uh, as I said, create a new method here, load roles, create a new method here, and we need to get the config, and we need to read the config to check if the role exists, and we need to add the permission and the role. So to do that, we are going to do, um, we can use uh, lambda expressions, so a plugin. Uh, get config, get configuration section, role sign, get, no, it's, I think, our case, get keys, false, okay, this will return an array list or a list of BIP, B plus, MVP, MVP plus, and word. It will not return anything here, only the name of the, of this section, okay? So, we're gonna loop that one for each. Let's call it S. Whoops, autocomplete. Let's call it S. And uh, we already have the name of the section. So, we can use something like role name to get the role name here. Role name, it's equal uh, plugin get config get string role sign dot the s which is the name of the the section plus name so it means i will have role sign plus beep and name next one will be bip name Role sign MVP name, role sign MVP plus name, and role sign word uh, name. Okay, so this is a loop. So we already have this one, uh, which is the role name, and we need to check if the role exists in my server, otherwise, I cannot add the role. So if keep in mind that we already have the guilt object, so we can use it. Plugin C. 06 guild um, get role by name the name of the role remember is role name because we, are, we already have it from the config and uh, ignore case false because I want it to be exact and uh, and we need to check if the size of keep in mind that this return uh, a list of rows okay we need to check if the size of that list is at least one I mean it's higher than zero it means that there is a role called uh, 
I mean, there is a role with that name. So if the size of that list is greater than than zero, it means that the role is six. So it means that the role exists. So we can use it. Uh, we are going to use a string permission because we want the permission now. Flowing, get config, get a string, and the same thing. Role sank dot the name of the section and permission so every time this part of the code is called role name will take the name of VIP no of BIP and permission here will be Alonso TS plugin dot BIP the same for everything here okay so uh we already have the permission, we need to get the role now. Role, role, it's equal. Plugin, this class, guilt, get roles by name, the same we used before. Role name, ignore false. And we need to get the first one because we already know that there is a, at least one role with that name. So we can now use permission role map, put, permission and role okay so once this method is called all permissions needed and the role will be in this in this map okay uh, as I said before we have some problem here because uh, we need one second to load the guild so in this case we're going to add a delay in this in this method okay so the same we did before break it get a scheduler uh, run test later fly in and since we're using lambda we can do this and we can I'm gonna set it to maybe two seconds whoops my fault two seconds okay doing this is the same as doing for example um, it's the same as, for example, doing. Uh, 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 uh. It's the same as doing this. Okay. As you can see, it's the same. If I autocorrect the thing, it changed to this. Okay. So it will be loaded. It will be loaded uh, two seconds after the class is called. So we. So uh, the the system will have time to load first the guilt object, so we don't get any null point exception. So we now have the the map where the permissions are and the roles are. So now we need to simply check the player's role and check the the permission. Okay. So first we are going to listen to um, player quit event. Okay, event handler because I'm gonna add the role when the player leaves the server, not when the player joins the server. So public void, it's my, I think, I mean, it's my opinion. If you want to do it uh, when player join server, it's up to you. Or you can update it uh, all members roles every some minutes. I don't know, it's up to you. I decided to do it at the end when the players leave the server. Uh, but it, as I said, you decide. Public void on quit. Uh, player quit event. Player quit event. E. So remember, we already have a, a list here of verified members, so we can use that list. If a player is in this list, it means that he has his account verified, okay? So uh, we're gonna do this. If, uh, wait, we're gonna get the players first. Player, let's import this one. E that get player, and if, plugin. Uh, CO6 verified members, which is a list of UUIDs, contains the player get unique ID. It means if the player that leaves the server is in that list, his UUID is in that list, it means that the player is verified. So we can uh, check for permission and add the role to the member he, uh, to the member account, he has his account linked, okay? 
I know it's kind of confusing, but yeah. So um, the first one, the first things we're going to do is same here. In this case, we're gonna remove this one. Okay. So if it contains the the player unique ID, we are going to remove because we already know that this member is verified. And um, yeah, we now need to get the Discord ID, the Discord ID from our data uh, file. Remember, we had a data file where we saved the UUID and the Discord ID of the account. Okay, he's linking. So we're gonna use a string Discord ID. You can use whatever you want here. Save Discord ID, Discord ID, whatever you want. Um, it's equal to plugin. Uh, remember, we had a configuration file called player data. Player data. Um, get a string data plus the player unique ID. Okay, this will return, for example, whatever he has. Uh, uh, he it will return whatever he has linked whatever he has for example in this part if for example we have data and a UUID a random UUID whoops a random UUID and we have for example something linked to discord ID it will return this one case because that's the linked uh, Discord ID account whoops I can remove this one okay so uh, now that we have the Discord ID we need to check if the if that user is a still a member of the server because he could have left the server and he's not longer a member of the server so we cannot update a member that is not a member you get it so uh, we're gonna get member, member, or target member, whatever you want. Plugin, plugin, co. Remember, we're gonna use uh, guild for everything. So yeah, guild, um, get member bar by ID, and we're gonna use the Discord ID. Okay. So it will return a member if there is a member with that ID in our server or it will return null if the member is not in the server anymore so if member is null we're going to return we can actually send whatever we want send a message that that says for example uh, the member has left the server or the member is not available anymore whatever you want in this case I'm just gonna return and here is the part that maybe it's a bit complicated for everyone okay so I'm gonna I'm gonna try to explain it the, the best I can so I'm gonna check for all the permissions that are in this map because I already know that there is a permission here and a role here so I'm gonna check the permission if the player has the permission I'm gonna add the role if the player doesn't have a permission it means that he was demoted he lost the role or whatever and I'm gonna remove the role from his uh, member in Discord. Okay. To do that, I need to uh, to loop to loop uh, all data here. Okay. So I'm gonna use permission uh, for each lambda. You can also use if you want for um, maybe entry map entry um, mm -mm -mm. entry I don't even remember how it was <laughs> sorry never mind <laughs> I'm just gonna use uh, the lambda expression because it's faster for me <laughs> and uh, mm -mm 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 -mm. for each for each uh, we have for in this case we have a permission permission and a role so we're gonna do this okay so for each we have a key and a value 
the key will be permission and the value will be role. So now I need to check, it would be simple if I just check if the player has permission, like something like if player has permission, permission, then I add the role to the player, for example, member, no, um, guild, get controller, add single role to member, and add the role. But we're not gonna do this because if, for example, we have maybe 10 rows and we are going to, we are, we, no, the server will be adding 10 rows at the same time. That's not possible. I mean, you cannot loop that. What I recommend you is to make a list of new rows and add them with uh, the new method, okay? Because there is a method that says add single role to member and there is another method that says add roles to member which is a collection of roles and a write of loss of roles sorry okay so in this case i'm gonna use that option i set the first one i need i am gonna create a new list it will be a list of roles and i'm gonna call it roles to add i need to do this thing outside the for each actually roles to add and i'm gonna new right list the same here i'm gonna create three three ones okay roles to add roles to remove in case he doesn't need any roles or in case he doesn't have any permission and um member roles which is the actual mem actual roles of the member and i'm not gonna create a new right list here i'm gonna get the member get roles okay so i have right now the roles of the member I have here an empty array and an empty array here. So for each, I can now say if the player has the permission, permission, I'm gonna add the role here to the um, the roles to add. Okay. Else, I'm gonna remove the role. But what happens if, for example, the members or uh, the member already have the role? I need to check that first and that's why I get the members role here the members role here so if the member has the permission uh, for a role I'm gonna check if the member roles not contains uh, the role then I'm gonna add the role to the list I'm gonna explain right now okay so it means if the player, for example, in this case, has the permission Alonso TSC uh, plugin that beep, I will, I will check if the player, I mean if the member, if the Discord member already have that role, I'm not gonna add it. But if the player doesn't have that role, I'm gonna add it to the members to the list of roles to add. Okay, and the same here. If the member, if the player does, if the players have the roles, have the permission, sorry, I'm gonna check this. Otherwise, if the player doesn't have the, the permission, it means that I need to remove the role. But to remove the role, I need to check if the player has the role or not. So, if the member roles contains the role, I'm gonna add that role to the roles to remove list at row I don't know if you're understanding this one I hope you are I'm gonna I'm gonna explain this once again once again um, I'm looping the map which is a permission and a role to check if the player has the role I add a, sorry if the player had the permission I add the role to the discord member and if the player doesn't have the role doesn't have the permission sorry uh, I remove the role to the player. So here we are. If the player has the permission, permission, I need to check if the player uh, already has the permission, I will not do anything. And if the player, if the member doesn't have the role yet, I'm gonna add it to to the roles to at least because it's an, uh, it's an update, okay? Maybe the player joined the server with the same permissions he are leaving the server. So I don't need to update anything. Same here. If the player doesn't have the role and the player cons and the roles player, sorry, and the 
members roles contain the role, I'm gonna add that role to the roles to remove list. So now I can do here if for example this list is not empty. Okay, if this list is not empty, it means that there is a role to add. So I can do plugin this one guild gear controller and add roles to member. You remember here is to add only one role and here is to add more than one role. Okay, so I'm gonna use this one and it asks for a member which is member and a collection of roles uh, which is roles to add. And we need to do quick here, don't forget to do that. And if the roles to remove list is not empty, it means that there is um, there are uh, roles to remove. So I'm gonna do the same. Plugin C O six guild get controller and remove roles from member. Same here. We have we can remove only one role or we can remove an array of roles. The same here. Member and roles to remove. You here. And that's actually everything we need here. Uh, I'm just gonna add a debug here so you can check which roles are loaded in the map. I'm gonna remove this one. I'm gonna add uh, something here. Plugin console send a message. And I'm gonna say something like, I don't know, maybe this color. Uh, role. And the name of the role, role name, has been loaded. It means that the role, that role, has been uh, added in the map. So it will be checked when the player leaves the server. And of course, the player, is, the player is verified. Okay. So um, let's export this one real quick. Uh, uh, uh. Let's copy this one. I'm gonna run the server and I'm gonna close the other server. Okay, let's start the server. Let's just start. Let's wait a moment until the server starts. Whoops, something I forgot to do. Yeah, I forgot it. Is to uh, initialize the class. Okay. New. Mm, this. This is my constructor, okay? I forgot this one. I already have the, the public class here because maybe I will need to access the, to that class maybe in, I don't know, maybe in other classes. It's up to you as I said. Uh, let's build this one again. Um, let's export again and let's run the server again. So, um, okay, okay. And here we are. Okay. Mm -mm -mm -mm. As you can see, it says that BIP role has been loaded. B plus also MVP and MVP plus. It doesn't say that uh, uh, word role has been loaded because the word lord, no, the word role doesn't exist. Okay. So as you can see, this is my my member right now. I'm not verified actually, so I need to verify it first. Uh, I'm gonna join the server. I'm here. Link Alonso Liera. I'm gonna verify my account. Whoops. I'm gonna verify my account. Uh, I already have my account, so it's linked. And now, right now I have I'm OP. So if I leave the server, I should get all roles because, as I said, uh, I'm OP. If I leave the server, yep, nothing happened. <laughs> Wait, give me a moment. I think I forgot something. LP. Yes, sir. Yes, I'm OP. 
Just give me a second, I think I forgot something. Yeah, I knew it. I forgot to register the class. My bad, sorry. Um, so, let's use bucket. Get server, get plugin manager, register events, listener, this, and plugin, plugin. So now, if we export this thing here, it should work now. Uh, 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 uh. Export this. And let's run the server once more. Let's close this one. And let's join the server. <laughs> Okay, we're in now, and if we leave the server right now, it should update uh, all roles, B, B plus, B I P, uh, MVP and MVP plus, since I'm OP. Disconnect. Yeah, it worked, as you can see, it worked. I received all roles here, and let's make a quick, a quick test. If, for example, I add the role or add the permission, Permission. And I don't remember the name of the name of the permission. It was no, let's try MVP. 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 And if we for example I add that permission to myself. Sorry. That permission to myself. And if I remove the OP from me, the OP also, I'm not longer uh OP. I'm gonna remove the rows I have here. And if I, for example, nope, no, no, I forgot something. Yeah, I'm gonna add all the rows here so you can see it updates. My bad. Uh, 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 beep, MVP plus. I'm going to add only the MVP. So I'm gonna remove this one. So, as you can see, I'm gonna test right now. If I leave the server, it should update, it should remove all roles and should be added the MVP role. So let's disconnect the server. And as you can see, I think I made a mistake here in the code. Let me check the console. Nope, there wasn't an error in console. It's because uh, the server cannot uh, add the roles and remove the roles at the same time. So let's try using a delay here this is just a test um plug in um, 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 um this one this one here and maybe one second and done so let's build this one again I think I remember it there was a problem with that. So space this one here, run the server, close this one. I'm gonna add my rows right now. Uh B plus VIP and I'm gonna add the MVP plus. Okay. So the server is started. I can join the server now. And if I, for example, leave the server, it should work now. Remove the roles. And yeah, I received the MVP. So yeah, as I said, uh, there was an error there. We need to add a delay there because we cannot uh, add and remove roles at the same time, I think. Maybe half a second, it's okay. So uh, yeah, that is the... That was the tutorial for today i hope you really guys enjoyed the video as i said please keep that in mind it's just an example you can modify the code as you want because it maybe there are better ways to do uh, a verification system i mean a role synchronization system but as i said it's up to you uh, i hope you really guys enjoyed the video thank you so much for watching if you like the video please hit the like button and subscribe for new videos in the next video i'm gonna be using i'm not gonna be using jda again because i don't think there is another thing i can teach you about i mean using minecraft and jda so 
I don't think there is something else because we already did uh, right, raw synchronization uh, verification system and how to run a bot inside a Minecraft server. So if you have any suggestion about uh, new JDA videos, I mean new JDA and Minecraft videos, uh, let me know in the comment section. Uh, in the next video, I was thinking about maybe working with some API. I don't know, maybe leave this guys, maybe uh, place other API. I don't know. I was thinking about leave this guy, but it actually depends on you. Okay, so let me know in the comment section all your ideas, and I'll read it uh, for future videos. So thanks more for watching again. I hope you really guys enjoyed the video, and that's all. I see you in the next video. Bye bye.